in Brooklyn. Police are searching for the man who fatally shot a bodega worker. And police say it was all over a cigar. Detectives say the shooter asked the employee in Crown Heights to give him a cigar yesterday. And when he refused, the man left and came back with a gun, shooting the employee in the head. And just minutes ago, police released these photos of the man they're looking for. Eyewitness News reporter Stefan Kim live in Crown Heights with the latest on the search. Stefan. Well, David, as you mentioned, this was all over a cigar. A man, a fight that ended with a man dead, shot and killed yesterday here in Crown Heights. Surveillance video captured that gunfire that erupted around 4.15 yesterday. Cops say 37-year-old Nazim Barry was shot in his head, rushed to the hospital, and later pronounced dead. Police say Barry wasn't an actual paid employee of the store, but someone who would help around the deli and was paid to do odd jobs. We spoke with his mother last night, who says the gunman asked her son to buy him a black and mild cigar, and when he refused, that suspect returned with a gun. He grew up over here. He never had in no trouble. He was a beautiful person. I knew it was senseless. I knew it was. I knew that it had to be over something stupid because I know his heart. Now, police just released these images of the suspect they're looking for. He's believed to be about six feet tall. Investigators recovered a bloody nine millimeter handgun several blocks from here. Cameras also caught him jumping a turnstile at the Medgar Franklin Avenue station nearby. Detectives are working to get a fingerprint from his bloody handprint off that turnstile. Meanwhile, the United Bodega of America's Association is offering a $10,000 reward for any information that may lead to an arrest. Reporting.